Okay. Now we should be good to go. Let me make sure. Yes, I believe we are. Okay. Um, we are ending our DNA unit today here um, with the idea that the copying of the genetic code uh, is not always perfect. Okay. Um, it is correct 99.99 whatever percent of the time. Um, however, it is not always perfect. So there are some errors. One thing to keep in mind is that um, most estimates of um, the human genome are roughly 6.3 billion pairs. Even you know a tiny fraction of an error rate is still going to be um, a handful of mistakes on average. And this is they're still doing a lot of research in this, but on average there might be around 300 mutational differences from parents to offspring. Okay, so not something that's inherited, not a gene, but actually the DNA has changed slightly there. All right, so um, what that does is I like to show the uh, the X-Men here, the mutants. All right, now that's not an accurate portrayal. Um, that's not, you know, that's science fiction, but um, it does allow for new variations from parents to offspring. All right, so there might be some slightly different um genetic traits, those kind of things that didn't show up in the original generation. And it could be from this mutation, all right? Um, sometimes they're good, so, sometimes they're, I shouldn't say good. Um, sometimes the uh, mutations are not noticeable, sometimes they're beneficial, and sometimes they're harmful, okay? Um, if you have traits that are different from your parents, chances are it's not a mutation chances are it's a recessive trait but that is a story for a different day but anyway dna mutates um kind of mutations that we have is we have um, point mutations so point mutations a single base changes causing a change in whatever amino acid is code for there all right so if you look here the original dna is atg the rna is uac that codes for and here's the um, amino acid it codes for. Uh, if you look here, if we change one letter of the um, DNA, the first one, look at that, it's a silent mutation because there is no noticeable difference. Um, the second one is going to be an incomplete protein, and this third one's going to be a faulty protein. So there's a look at one letter that might be off and could cause um, issues in the um, genetics of the offspring, or it might not. Hard to say. Another one that almost always causes issues is a frame shift mutation. This is where if there is a um, letter that is added or deleted as it's being copied, if you notice if here, there's our original code of DNA. The second one, we've added this A. And by adding that, it has slid that reading frame down. And so it does cause some major issues there with the rest of the proteins after that point. Uh, and then there's those things, again, I mentioned it before, called silent mutations, where there might be one letter that is off, and it turns out that that's going to code for the exact same amino acid. So it is a mutation that has no functional difference to um, the original model there. All right. So what happens when you have non-functional proteins? Um, here's some diseases. Um, disorders maybe is the right term because they're not um, caused by viruses or bacteria, but four disorders that are caused by non-functional proteins. We'll be talking about hemophilia later on in class because it is gener genetically inherit inherited and is a faulty protein involved in blood clotting. And then type 1 diabetes, so the ability to make insulin is what your assignment today is going to be about. All right. Now, hey, the, the rest of the PowerPoint talks about something called epi, epigenetics. Um, we I'm not going to get to that here um, this year with our DNA notes, but it is worth, if you're curious about DNA, it is worth checking it out. Um, it turns out that, you know, your DNA is maybe not, you know, we think of it as this rigid instruction manual, this book that we read and get instructions from, your body does that is. Um, it turns out that might not be the whole story, all right? Um, there could be other parts around your DNA that are causing things to get turned on and off, and it can be based on environmental factors. So huge implications of what that could mean uh, and very interesting um, future with that research there.